Prabhu Vani means Lord's voice. Hebrew 1 1 to 2 says, In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, He has spoken to us by His Son, whom He appointed heir of all things, and through whom also He made the universe. If God has to speak to us, then Jesus is the only means of communication with us. There are many voices which wants to captivate our heart and create our life as, he, as we have heard and implemented it. Jesus said, He who hears my word and put into practice is a wise builder who will be able to stand in every adverse situation. Most of the time, there are voices of our experience which dictates our choices and preferences and we are unable to hear what God is communicating to us. It is similar to the situation of Matthew 17 where Jesus took Peter, James and John on the mountain where Jesus was transfigured and Moses and Elijah came to meet him. And Peter was quick to say in verse 4, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. Further, we see in verse 5, while he was still speaking, a bright cloud covered them and a voice from the cloud said, This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. Our job is to listen to him. Lord's voice also, as it says in Hebrews 3.15, which is a reference from Psalms 95. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did in the rebellion. Let us make our heart respond to the Lord's word. As Mary said to Angel Gabriel's message, I am Lord's bound slave. Be it unto me according to your word. Lord chose us to see his kingdom advance through our lives. Today, God's word is to strengthen every path so that Lord may succeed through you. May Lord guide you and sustain you with his powerful word so that your life to bear many fruits for his kingdom. Praying in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.